MATLAB! Hello! In this video, we will discuss the various windows available in MATLAB, how to move, resize, and undock those windows, and what the windows are used for. When you open MATLAB through MySCC, you should see a screen similar to this. If it looks a little different, don't worry, I will show you how to adjust the windows. In each of the windows, you may click and drag the ribbon to move or resize it. A preview appears to show you where the window will be dropped. You may also click and drag the dividing lines to adjust window sizes. Further, you may undock and dock as many windows as you please. Do this by clicking the small down arrow in the Windows ribbon. This allows you to minimize or maximize that window, or to hide it behind the main screen. You will find what layout works for you with experience. To choose one of the standard layouts, navigate to the Home tab, Layout dropdown, and then select your layout. My personal preference is the three column. Let's explore what each window is used for. The names of each possible window that you will use is highlighted here for you. Current folder, command window, workspace, variable editor, code editor, and figure window. Don't be intimidated. It is rare indeed that all six of these will be open at once. The first thing you should do when opening MATLAB is connect to your main folder that you are using for this class. When you do so, all your files saved in that folder appear in the current folder window. If you don't see a file, you probably won't be able to access it from MATLAB. In the center is the command window. As the name implies, this is where you can type individual commands to the software. Anytime we create a new variable in the command window, it will appear in the workspace. The workspace is the temporary memory of MATLAB. It shows what user-defined variables are known to the program. If you see a variable listed here, it can be used for later computations. If you don't see a variable listed here, then MATLAB won't know what to do if you try to use it. For example, let's try taco equals a plus 1. a is known to MATLAB to hold the value 7, so it will now store 8 as the value for taco. But if we try nacho equals z plus 1, we get an error because z does not exist. Once variables are in memory, their contents can be viewed and edited in the variable editor. This is helpful for larger arrays where we can read them like a spreadsheet. When you write code, either a script or a function, you will see a text editor like you do here. Most of your work will be done in scripts or functions because you can save this work and run many lines with one click. For example, when I click Run here, we compute and plot the area of a circle versus its radius. Finally, the figure window. This will only appear when a figure is created. 